So, children, today I will tell you a story of a sheep whose name was Nellie. She was very beautiful and pretty. Everyone loved her. Elephants, horses, dogs, sparrows, parrots. Everyone loved her. One day, Nellie's parents had to go out of the village for some work, but Nellie didn't want to go with them. Her mom said, "Nellie, you are little now. You will go far and wander off while playing, and Fox can take you with her." Nellie said, "Mom, don't worry. All of my friends are here." She didn't listen to her parents. Then her mom asked her friends to take care of her. And she asked Nellie to not go very far from the house by herself. All of her friends were busy with their chores, and Nellie went too far away, while having soft and delicious grass to snack on. She didn't even realize where she was going, and suddenly, a fox came along. She saw Nellie, and was tempted. By the deliciousness of the little sheep. Today, I will have a lot of lamb to eat. <laughs> Fox was very happy. But if I kill her now, all of her friends would come. Then what would I do? She started talking to Nelly and pretended to be the little lamb's best friend. And she said to her. You have come so far. Aren't you afraid? And Nellie answered, "Oh yes, I came so far. I didn't even realize." My mom said, "What did your mom say?" My mom had said to not go anywhere by myself because the fox would come and eat you for dinner. That's what your mom said, but. You didn't listen to her. Oh, don't worry. My house isn't far from here. Come, you can sit on my back. We'll go to my house. Okay. And Nellie sat on the fox's back, and then they started walking towards the fox's house. See, that's my house. You go inside and take a rest. I'll bring something for you to eat. Oh my goodness, this is your house. Boy, sure is dirty. Why don't you clean it? Uh, won't you? You're here now. You can clean it. Fine, I'll clean it. Meanwhile, please bring something for me to eat. Nellie said, and she started cleaning the house. While cleaning, she found a piece of sheep's skin. Nellie got scared. Oh no! What if this creature is a fox? I should have followed my mom's instruction, and she started crying. And suddenly, she heard a sparrow's whistle. When she looked out of the window, she found it was her friend, the little sparrow bird. Sparrow told Nellie, "Don't cry. I hope you know it now that she is a fox." Now, we will do something to help you. She will not kill you that easily. You keep on talking to her like you did before. Our friend Mr. Parrot went to go ask everyone to come and help you. Suddenly, she stopped talking because the fox was coming back. As soon as Fox was back, she said. I have brought so much food for you. Eat this first. I have some work in the jungle, so I'll be back soon. But, friend, I thought you were supposed to bring me back to my house. Your parents aren't home. You can stay here for a few days. Let me come back from my work. Then we will decide about dinner. Okay? Okay? The fox was gone, but she had locked the door very tightly. Now Nellie was getting nervous, and she started crying. Oh, 
all she wants to decide about is when she wants dinner after she gets back. She wants to kill me. Suddenly, the sparrow whistled. All of Nellie's friends were here. The elephant was here, and he broke the door with his trunk. Soon, Nellie was out, and she could hear Mr. Horse and Mr. Dog, too. Can we go home now? Nellie asked, and everyone said, No, we can't go home just like that. First, we have to teach this fox a lesson. Then everyone gathered together and made a plan to teach the fox a lesson. Do you know what that plan was? They put sheep on top of a roof. The cat was sitting at the front door, and the dog was sitting at the back door. Mr. Horse was guarding close to the door, and Mr. Elephant was guarding near the jungle. It was getting dark. Everyone was standing in their positions, and approximately at midnight, the fox came back. Fox was very hungry. She thought she was going to gobble up Nellie. When she opened the door, she found it was too dark. There was a wood log on the door, which was about to fall. Then the fox shouted, Nellie, where are you? Why didn't you light the lamp? But Mr. Elephant had kept Nellie on the rooftop. Then Nellie answered, My friend, I'm up here. Look, I'm so scared of foxes. You don't have to be scared. I'm back. Please come down now. Nellie answered, No, please come down. Why are you behaving like a little child? Okay, okay, fine. I'll come up there. She was about to jump on the rooftop when the cat attacked her. Meow, meow. The fox got scared, and she thought she would go up by the back door. She went to the back door that was being guarded by Mr. Tipu. Meow, meow. Fox was being attacked at every door. She got scared, and she opened the door and ran out. As soon as she was out, Mr. Horse was ready, too. He kicked the fox so hard that she broke her leg. She was crying in pain and started running towards the jungle. But the jungle was being guarded by Mr. Elephant. He picked the fox up and threw her so hard on a stone that she could not get up. Then Nellie sat on the elephant's trunk, and everyone got back to her house happily. Elephant said, You are lucky that Sparrow and Parrot saw you. Otherwise, we could not have taught the fox a lesson. So children, what is the moral of the story? Friends should always be attentive and help each other.